Hello everyone. Welcome to Scriptures where we create useful and informative chess content which are hopefully entertaining as well. So today we are going to discuss about an important concept of Rook 1 endgame known as bridge. So bridge, um, a player creates a bridge when that player has an extra pawn in Rook Pawn endgame. Like in this particular position, black has one extra pawn. So black can win this particular game by creating a bridge. So bridge is something like this. So you can see it's white to play. White always kept his rook in front of the G, G file so that it can always take the pawn whenever it is undefended and draw the game. But black created a bridge between pawn and the king so that it blocks the attack of rook towards the pawn. Right now there is no way uh, white can uh, you know stop the queenie and eventually black will win the game. There is another concept known as the Philidor but Philidor is used to draw the game. So in this particular case let's say white wants to draw this game where black has an extra pawn he has to do something to achieve a position like this where black will not be able to um, you know uh, create a pass pawn. So we will see the Philidor defense in different video. Let's see how black can create a bridge in this situation to win the game. So it is checked to white, sorry, it is checked to black. Black will save the king by going to g3. And right now black is threatening to checkmate, which is why white cannot continue its attack on the pawn. Right? So white plays king f1 and rook gives check to push the king outside and now white king will proceed further to make a space to forward the pawn. Now black can you know like attack the queen and pawn and black will forward the pawn. The pawn is two square away from the queen. So what uh, black should do now? <coughs> black let's say go for uh, rook g6 keeping the rook on the same file uh, to you know attack the attack the pawn. So black will go to h2 because if rook gives check black will go to g1 and if white attacks the pawn it will again go to g2. So pawn is just one square from queenie. So black will always try, uh, will always try to you know defend it. So let's say black plays rook h6 and whenever if we move the king notice that the king doesn't have any square to go further back which is why it will always have to come back to g, g1 and eventually we will not be able to queen the pawn which is why we will have to Think of a way where we can push this king away and grab the f file with the rook. So how do we do that? Let's go with this. King goes to d2. We get check. King goes to e1 so that it doesn't allow king to come forward. All right. We go to f5 as per our plan so that we can occupy this square but in that particular case the king needs to be here how do we do that so first of all king comes to e2 now if we give check king will come further up or it can go to d2 obviously so let's say king goes to d2 king will come to f2 black will give a check King comes up and now we give another check. Notice that we cannot come forward because the pawn is hanging obviously. So king goes to f3 and now when a rook gives another check, the king will come forward. When the rook gives another check, we achieve this bridge position. Now takes, takes, even the king comes for further inside. We will be able to make the queen. Hopefully you found this useful. 
please like this video and subscribe to the channel um, i'll see you in the next video thank you